A partnership in the East African country of Uganda is making an impact on the health and welfare of the Ugandan people while decreasing the potential for a worldwide epidemic. U.S. and Ugandan entities have come together under the One Health program to educate village health care teams on disease recognition and prevention. We're almost putting the weight of the world on their shoulders that if we can stop disease outbreak here, then we're going to prevent a whole lot of other people from dying further on down the line. One Health unites Ugandan human health care workers with veterinarians and environmental specialists as part of a holistic or circle of life approach to diagnosing and treating future diseases. Most of the diseases that are occurring these days that actually kill masses of people are coming from animals. So the reason as to why there is this combination where they all come together is because these things interrelate. Like for worms, I eat the meat, I get the worms. I go do open defecation, I put it to the soil. The animal eats it back like it's a cycle. The program was coordinated between the Ugandan and U.S. governments and funded by the U.S. Agency for International Development. It's the USID goal uh, uh, to see that uh, capacity uh, for responding to diseases is good, but it's well, much more important to see that the local partners, the university, the district leadership, and the people themselves working in the villages are working together in this initiative. The partnership between the U.S. military and Uganda People's Defense Force is also a crucial part of this initiative. Yeah, One Health is a, uh, a good concept that we need really to take on and advance uh, because the time is now that we should all come together, work jointly to address problems affecting our communities. Together we can. In a country striving to make huge gains in security and safety for its people, the effort here at One Health in Uganda may seem like a drop in the bucket. But for the people and animals being cared for under this program, it's a tidal wave for a brighter future. Reporting for Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa Public Affairs, I'm Tech Sergeant John Ledoux.